So, Baruch Hashem. I'm wandering to myself on on what I'm gonna talk to you tonight, which amazing lesson, wisdom I'm gonna share with you tonight. So I thought about maybe to remind you one of my one of my stories one of the things that happens to me that happened to me a couple of years ago so as you all know I mm -hmm. was learning in the yeshiva of uh, Rav Shalom Arush for 12 years and I was very close with him and uh, I illustrated and wrote for him the children books famous children books of Rav Shalom and I opened the uh, English program over there in the yeshiva for something about like four or five years I was, ah, that's a nice spot maybe I'll stand here right, like in the center shiny shiny drawer so so Baruch Hashem I was doing wonderful things over there and one day the boat uh, reached to a certain shore, certain land, and I had to jump off the boat and to start something on my own and to the Zohar Kadosh, the book of Shimon Bar Yochai is uh, describing what that I went through like a branch from the tree that had been cut from the tree and that the farmer the gardener he took that branch and planted it in a different place a different spot and uh, and it's growing it brings down roots and grows and it becomes to be an independent tree so I remember that once there was a Hanukkah by the celebration for a student of Rav Shalom and I and both of us came to visit in that house and to, to bless this person a convert and while we were there before so I met with Rav Shalom and we spoke a little bit and I asked him an amazing question thank God oh oh Hashem many holy souls are joining us so I asked him, I told him is it true that the bottom line of everything that you taught me until today is that I have a mission to go and save all of the souls of our nation isn't it true that I need to help all of the world to come back to Hashem so he told me yes <laughs> like I didn't know it so I told him okay so now I'm gonna do it even if you're gonna tell me no after you told me that that's my mission now I'm gonna go for it for the rest of my life because I know that that's my mission and even if you're gonna tell me no and of course you won't tell me no but just to make that point 
that from that day and on I'm I'm doing it on my own so for a lot of people it's very hard to understand how can it be but it's only because people really doesn't believe that Hashem Barach is planting inside of our hearts inside of our souls amazing powers that every person in this world if he will really connect himself to the roots of his soul to who that he is he can achieve so much so much so much and I'm going with that mission in the last few years and if for you guys that remember three months ago I told you that we're reaching out to 25,000 people every month and last month I told you that we're reaching to over 40,000 people and today we checked it and we're going and we're reaching more than 50 between 50 to 60,000 people every month and when you see that it's you know you cannot succeed unless the Creator helps you to succeed we're receiving thousands of emails from souls from holy people that are just seeking and asking please can you give us the right guidings and the right advice and I'm asking myself who are you that people will connect themselves to you and that people will ask you an advice that who am I really who am I I'm a Baal Tshuva. I'm a regular person I have my family I don't have so much time I'm giving one class a day I'm doing my Hishtadlut, I'm putting my effort, I'm praying for the benefit of Am Yisrael why Hashem chose me so when I'm checking it all the way into the roots of my soul I understand that it's only because that it's really me I'm really the one for that job <laughs> I'm really the one that can do it <laughs> And I really don't care what you're going to think about me right now. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm just really the one that can help you guys. I'm really that one that wants to help you guys. I'm really that one that contain all of you inside of my heart and inside of my soul. And I really love you all. And I'm really, really, really so happy with your success yes we're doing it we're doing it together we're all sharing all of our prayers are connecting themselves together in heaven you cannot understand what I'm talking about when I'm telling you that thousands and thousands of emails are, are, are getting into the Amuna project into the info at Amuna dot com thousands of emails private emails souls that are seeking and asking please Hashem please I want to know and what should I do and with my husband and with my boyfriend and should I marry him shouldn't I marry him and yes and with the tefillah and with the prayer with the Buddha Dut and I'm trying and only 10 minutes and 5 minutes and 15 minutes and everyone got a different question and should I work and this job is only in Shabbos and should I make Aliyah and I'm coming for a month and I'm coming for Hanukkah and should I do it, shouldn't I do it, what should I do? Everyone with this question, everyone with this issue and all of those souls are seeking for the truth and the truth is here. It's simple as that. This is Aza Street, you heard about Aza Street? Only in Jerusalem Aza is a street. You know, Aza, it's Gaza, you call it Gaza. We're calling it Aza. So in Jerusalem, Aza is a street. It's not an 
Arabic area. It's just an Aza street, you see? That's Aza. That's how you write Aza in Hebrew. You see, Aza. That's Aza. We're here in Aza street. That street is Rehov Ari, the Ari street. The Ari street. The Ari. He was a righteous man. Nice coffee shop, super happy, people are drinking, eating. What's going on? So late and people having so much fun. And we're here seeking for the Creator. Finding Him, thank God. Today I got an amazing, amazing news friend of mine that is working so hard on his conversion and thank God a holy community decided to invite them and to to help them. They wrote for them a letter to to help them join that community and to help them with the process of their conversion. And thank God that woman that we were praying for her successful birth gave birth and Hashem helped her and our prayers thank God being heard Hashem Barach is accepting all of our prayers I can see that I can see those things when you just believe that the Creator He loves you and that love that the Creator He loves you is an that's how you see it, that it's an unconditional love. So then you're climbing above all of, all of the judgments. When people think to themselves, hey, look, if I'm going to learn enough, if I'm going to purify myself enough, so then Hashem Barach will listen to my prayers. By doing that, you're limiting Hashem. Because you're making Hashem it Barach, you force Hashem it Barach to listen to you. I'll explain to you why. When, when Noah, when when there was that the flood, the days of before of the flood, so Hashem it Barach, the Creator, He revealed Himself to Noah. Noah was a prophet, and Hashem told Noah, "Look, I'm bringing the flood. That's it." People sinned enough, too much, and I'm destroying the world. So Noach, he saw that, and he heard the voice of Hashem. And he said, okay, what can I do? I'll build, uh, I will build an ark. I'm going to sail away. And he said to everyone, look, Hashem is doing it. It's going to happen. After the flood happened, so Noach was crying. So Hashem Barach said to him, you're a foolish leader, you're a fool. Raya Shatya. Now you're crying after the flood. Now you cry. You couldn't cry before, you couldn't pray that people will not gonna drown, that people will come back to me, will do tshuva. Why? Why now you're crying? So you see that Noah, he had faith, but he couldn't understand the real will, the perfect will of the Creator to reveal his mercy. He followed the judgments. Now after Noach we have Avraham. And Avraham Avinu when he heard that Hashem Barach, Hashem Barach told him, I'm going to destroy Sodom and Amorah. I'm going to bring down fire from heaven to burn all Sodom and Amorah. So Avraham Avinu went and prayed to Hashem Barach and, Oh Meir, you're with us. How happy I am that you're with us, Meir. Thank you for joining us to our night walk. Jerusalem streets, heaven. Look, it's heaven here. You've been to Jerusalem, right, Meir? All of you guys are more than welcome. So, Avraham Avinu is going to Hashem Barach and he's begging. He's saying, Hashem, please, maybe there are 50 righteous people in the city. Hashem says, no, no 50, maybe 40, no, no 40 righteous people. Please save the city for the 30, for 20, no 20, please for 10, not even 10 righteous people. And then Avraham Avinu stopped. 
stopped for asking. Why he stopped for asking? Because he thought that still, at least you need to have a minyan. At least 10 people, something. He still thought, Avraham Avinu was thinking, that you need to have at least 10 people for the Shekhinah to be between them, that Hashem will be with them. So even Avraham Avinu couldn't realize that the Creator's love, kindness, is an unconditional love, is with no terms, even if you're zero. And only Moshe Rabbeinu realized that thing completely. When Moshe Rabbeinu is coming to Hashem Barach, and he knows, look, we're empty. We don't have anything to offer. He's begging to Hashem Barach for a free gift. Please, Hashem. We know we messed up. And this is the light of the redemption. This is the light of the Baal Tshuva, of people like us, of the converts. Of the converts. Of the Noahides for the nations. For Jews that doesn't have no clue about Judaism. For people like me that are Baal Tshuva, trying to find their path in life. To believe in Hashem. People like us, we saw with our own eyes that the Creator, He revealed His love on us even, even in those days that we were so empty that we didn't have no connection to justice and to truth and to love and to purity and to Torah, to wisdom. We saw that Hashem Barach, He took us out of hell. And He's just revealing Himself and bringing Himself into our hearts to wake us up. And He's saying to us, even in the darkest night, I'm with you. Even in the valley of death, I'm walking with you. Even in the lowest place of hell, I'm with you. And you can see the Creator with you, you see the private supervision. You see the miracles, you see how much Hashem Barach is sending messengers into our lives and, and building us and giving us gifts that are not dependent in our actions, in our pure actions, in our wisdom. We're far from all of that. <laughs> We're still so far. And still Hashem is so close. So this is why people like us, we are the lighthouse. We are the light to the nations, because it's us, because it's really us, because we really have the power to reveal the light of the Creator, the endless light, the light of Ensof, the light of the Creator, the light of mercy, the light of kindness, the light of love, endless love, love that fills the creation. Inside of every detail in the creation you can see the presence of Hashem, the Shekhinah is hovering, the spirit of Mashiach is flying above the water, hovers above the water of the Torah. And everyone with point of truth can come and can see that light and can enjoy and drink from those water water of faith so thank God that Hashem the Creator is so sweet and so kind that He chosen us from all of the world from all of the people and He gave us His wisdom Torah of truth, Torah Chaim, Torah of life, Torah Chesed, Torah of kindness, real kindness. When you know something inside of your heart, you need to follow that. 
with all of your heart, with all of your power. Like I said to my Rebbe, from the moment that I realized that that's my mission, now I'm going to do it. And no one in the world can stop us. No one can stop you. If you commit yourself to Hashem with all of your heart, no one in the world can stop you. No one. Because the one is with you. So no one can stop you. When you're serving the Creator, the creation is serving you. When you're nullifying yourself to the creation, to the will of the Creator, so all of the world will serve you, will follow you, will help you, will support you, will give you strength and power, will pray for your success. So you guys are more than welcome to join me in our battle. Okay? Hazak Varuch.